Hello and welcome to this new exciting tutorial. In our tutorial today, we are going to learn how to use a Vimeo online editor. You will simply go to vimeo.com and that link is available in the description of this video. And then once you register for an account where you can have a free account, simply you register using your email and a password, it will take you here. So how now do you use Vimeo online editor? So you can upload from your computer. If you click on this top part here, you can upload videos from your computer. You can import from device and more. You can record screen or webcam. You, you can also create from a template and you can also host event or webinar. So if you want to use Vimeo online editor, so we are going to come to the top here where you see new video and then you click on create video. This will give you an option to either create a video from scratch or even you can edit a template. Now, if you want to start from scratch, you come to the left upper side corner here, you can see start from scratch. And then if you want to use a template, you can simply click on any of these templates and they are divided. We have the horizontal ones, we have the square ones, especially for Instagram. And then we have the portrait for Android devices, for mobile devices. So you, whichever format you want to use, you can select the template here. But if you want to start from scratch, you can always come to the top right corner. You can also select the categories here. If you click on recommended, you see this is what this is what is recommended. You can click for free so that you can use the free one. So this is what you have here. So if you want to start from scratch, you click at the top here. Let's just click on that so that it gives us a blank template. If you now want to add content to your canvas here, you can either select content from stock or you can click on uploads so that you can upload your own content or you can go to the library. That is once you have uploaded materials, you'll be finding them in your library. So we have not uploaded anything, but if you want to add a video here from our uploads, you click on uploads, then you click on upload and this will take you to your PC. And then you can now select the content you want from your PC, then click on open and that will upload your content here. And now you can simply drag and drop your content to your template, just simply like this. And then you can resize it to fit the dimension that maybe you want. So we just want it to fill the screen like this. So that's how you can use your own content. In case you don't want to use that, you can simply come to stock and then you can use any of these stock images. For instance, we have education, we have commuting, we have events, all these, you can select any one of them. So let's just select fashion. And so we can select maybe this video here. We simply again, drag and drop it. And now if we play, you notice where our fashion is, we have the background that we had added. So you can always resize this. If I come down here, you notice I can drag this image so that it can fill the entire sequence time. Then I can come to the top image. I can place it in a different place. Maybe I want to place it here. I can always drag it and place it where I want it to be. So let me just delete the background image for the microphone. So you simply click on it down here and press delete. So you notice now you only have the one for fashion. And now if we play it, you notice how it looks like. So you can always select the images depending on your aspect ratio. Here we have selected a portrait, but our template was landscape. So you can select any other that fits you. So let's actually select this one. And then we can now delete the first one here by just clicking on the image and deleting. Then we can now drag this to be in the beginning of our sequence. So now this is how our video looks like. So that's how you add uh, images. So that's how you add the media. If you come to presets here, these are the presets that have already been made for intros, for text, for live events and all that. So for instance, our video, if we play it, you notice it just begins like this, doesn't have any intro. So if we need an intro or an outro, you can always select the one that we want and then we place it on our text, on our intro here. So we want to select the first one here, drag and drop. So you now notice we have our intro here, this way, intro text, then we have that and then goes to our video. So we can now edit that intro at the top here by inserting the text. So we can click on that text here 
and then we double click on it here. Now we can edit here. Let's type this one, welcome to my stores. That way, so you notice we have it here, welcome to my stores. We can also edit this lower text here. Maybe we add great prices and then we can also change the font size here. We can make it bigger. We can also change the color, the fill color here. We can change the text color. So let's just put a fill color here. Let's just put that to be red, for instance, to just make it look different. Then we can also highlight the text if we need to. We can select the highlighter from here again if we need to. So that's how you edit that part. So now it looks this way. Welcome to my stores, great prices. And then it flows to our video. Now, if we now come, that's how you use the, that is how you use the presets. We have the presets for intro, for record, for motion graphics, for basic things, and also for geometric. You can use any of those. So when it comes to text, this is where you now add text to your video. So you notice we can add titles, we can add headlines, subheadlines, or captions. Adding them is the same. So let's just add a headline. If you click on headline, it will now open that. You notice headline has been added here. Let's change the color to be white. And then you notice where it appears. So you come to the timeline here. You can always drag it where it appears. You want it to appear immediately after the intro. So we drag it here to fall, to come next after the intro. You can also drag it up and down to place it where you want it to be. You can select its fill color and then you decide on the opacity. So we want that fill color to be red this way. So that looks like that. So now we can put it there. Then we can now edit it to fit, to read how we want it here. Let's just call this store one that way. So that's now, if now we've played our video, welcome to great stores, then store one, then text disappears. If you want it to stay longer, again, you click on it here and you drag it sideways so that it extends on the sequence time here. So for the graphics here, if you click on graphics, this is where you can add the graphics in terms of shapes, frames, gradients, call to action, buttons for maybe subscribe, new and all that. So that's how you add them. To add them, you simply click on a button that you want. So let's click on product release. And now you'll notice that product release will come here so we can select the first one and you notice now it's here again we want it to come immediately after just slightly after store one the one we have added here we want it to come there and then you can still edit it further by maybe adding a solid background if you need to you come here add solid background and all that so that so that now if we play our video we have the intro we have the text there then we have the product release graphic there. So next we can add music. You click on music and then for music, you can use featured music. You can use all music that is available here in terms of uh, either categories, the moods. If you click on moods, for instance, you can select calm, celebratory, cinematic. If you click on categories, you can see we have for sports, for travel, for holidays, for fashion. So whichever you select here, you can use that and you can also upload your own music by clicking on uploads and then the same way we uploaded images, click on upload and then you click on agree for the submission terms so that you confirm that you own the music or have obtained all the necessary license. If you click on agree then you can now go to your PC and select the music that you want to upload. But if you don't have any music, you can use the featured music or you can use the all music here. So you notice we have the music here and you simply click on it and if you want it to come from the beginning make sure this cursor here the reader is in the beginning so that where you click is where your music begins so if i select on better place this way so better place will be added to my sequence here so if i scroll down here you notice now we have the audio sequence here added so you notice now we have better place audio added here. And if you play it, you can hear the music. Let's play that. So you hear that. So that is the music. You can hear the music. So next you can add colors to your video. So you choose the brand colors here, depending on the colors you want. Let's just use blue. So you notice now we have the color there. We can change to this color. 
depending on the theme colors you want for your store. Then for the brand here, you can do this out of a paid version where you get, you can add your brand logos and colors and you can access premium templates for this. So we don't want to use that for now because we are using a free version. So once you're satisfied with your video, you have added the graphics, you have added the background, you have added the music. What you do is you click on save at the top here and that will now save your video. And then you now give it time to render. You notice it's rendering here, it's at 76%. Remember our video is still untitled. To title your video, you come at the top here, you come at the bottom here and give it a name. Let's call this one Josh Stores. So you notice now even at the top, it has been renamed. So the next thing you do, if now we play the video here, let's just play that. You see that's how our video looks like. Let's post the music. Let's play that again without the music now. So that is how our video looks like. So the next thing you do, you can add the description here. You notice we have the title, Josh Stores. Then you can add here, we deal in all these type of ABCD. Then you can add the thumbnail here. So you can add the thumbnail. You click on upload a thumbnail. Then you upload it from your PC. And then you can do the rating here. The rating is required, content rating. Is it for all audiences or only for adults? Then you can add the tags here. Just make sure you add tags that can help your video to be searched easily on search engines. Then if there are credits, you can add them here. If you have the followers, you can give that. You can select the language and then you can select the copyright here. And then you decide where you want to publish your video. Is it on social media? You want to embed it in an email or to showcase or to your channel, you select where you want to add it. And then if you didn't have a channel, you can create a channel. If you had a channel, automatically your video will be uploaded there. And that is simply how you use Vimeo Online Editor. I hope this has been helpful. Kindly like this video, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel.